With the eighth pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Brandon Knight from the University of Kentucky. All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, I want to introduce you guys to this new series that I would like to call Detroit Pistons Documentaries. And in this documentary, let's talk about Brandon Knight. So before Brandon Knight came to the Detroit Pistons a few years earlier in the 2008-2009 season, the Detroit Pistons were defeated by the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James. That loss was something that the Pistons couldn't recover from for a very long time. Eventually, we tried to get guys like Rodney Stuckey, Greg Monroe to start a new rebuild here in Detroit. And then eventually, with the eighth overall pick, the Detroit Pistons selected Brandon Knight. I'm going to read you guys a scouting report from Brandon Knight coming out of the draft. It reads, great size for a point guard, standing 6 feet 3 in shoes with a wingspan 6 feet 6, uses his length and solid athleticism to finish around the rim, looks comfortable with the ball in his hands, creates shots well for himself. Coming out of Kentucky, Brandon Knight averaged 17 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. He shot 37% from the three-point line, and he was also on the SEC All-Freshman team. So coming out of college, Brandon Knight was a darn good prospect, and picking him up at seven was a solid pick at the time. So in Brandon Knight's rookie season, he averaged 13 points, four assists, and three rebounds, and shooting 38% from the three-point line. Pretty solid, right? And then this happened. And then this happened. So after that, Brandon Knight became a big NBA meme, but still finished the season strong. Although the Pistons finished the season 20 and 52, Brandon Knight had a solid rookie year. In Brandon Knight's second year in the NBA, he also had another solid year, but didn't really progress much. On offense and defense, he for the most part stayed the same. He averaged 13 points, four assists, three rebounds, and 36% from the three-point line. So for the most part, he stayed the same from year one to year two. And then in the offseason, something that would change the Milwaukee Bucks' franchise fate occurred. The Detroit Pistons traded Brandon Knight and Chris Middleton for Brandon Jennings. At the time, Brandon Jennings, really solid point guard, who just had a knack for scoring the ball. And our Pistons had a young player, Brandon Knight, who was the main part of this deal, and a nobody named Chris Middleton being shipped. The idea of this trade was to have Josh Smith and Brandon Jennings tear up the league. The Pistons then in the draft ended up getting Contavious Caldwell Pope. They got Andre Drummond and they already had Grant Monroe. So this Pistons team had a roster with Brandon Jennings, Josh Smith, Contavious Caldwell Pope, Andre Drummond, and Grant Monroe. At the time, this was looked at as a pretty solid squad with Josh Smith being a big signing for the Detroit Pistons. Now Brandon Knight on the other hand would eventually have really, really big success in Milwaukee. That next season he ended up averaging 18 points. The next two seasons after that, he would continue to average around 17 to 18 points per game. But then, then he got shipped to Phoenix. And in 2015, he had his best season, averaging 20 points and five assists with four rebounds. But after that, that is the end of Brandon Knight as we know him. Consistently after that season, Brandon Knight's stats continued to go down and down and down due to injuries. In 2015, he only played 50 games. In 2016, only five games. In 2018, only 26 games. And then he missed the rest of the year. In 2019, he only played three games. And then eventually, he would come back to Detroit. And this is the last that we've seen of Brandon Knight so far. Very, very shocking to see someone with such a promising career at the start to come out of Kentucky, um, looking like a really good prospect to end up at this current time, basically being out of the league. Very, very sad to see. Brandon Knight was my favorite player at the time because I was first being a Pistons fan around 2010. That's when I was first getting into it. So seeing someone like Brandon Knight, who we just got picked up, I really saw so much of myself in him. So I just ended up becoming a bit fan of him. So it really does suck to see someone like this who had a promising career at the start end up failing in the NBA. Shouts out to Brandon Knight, man. You did what most people never get to do and that's playing the NBA. So, you know, people can clown you for the DeAndre Jordan and the Kyrie plays, but you got to play in the NBA. You got to have fun. You got to make millions of dollars. So shouts out to Brandon Knight. It's unfortunate that his career had to turn out like this, but this is the NBA. These types of things happen. So let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this documentary style series and just let me know overall thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank you all for 1K and I'm out.